Ever wonder what the Shazam movies look like without their VFX? So one of the first things they had to sort out was how to make the flying sequences look legit. So the Shazam team used devices that are becoming pretty popular for flying known as tuning fork rigs. I love my life. And as opposed to a normal fork, the actor harnessed in can rotate on several axes, giving a super realistic set of movements for when the VFX team does their thing later. The studio put out some great shots of them using the rig, like this shot of Shazam flying through the mall. Maybe it's just me, but I think it's cool that even in an era of CGI, there are still like literal crew members pushing the rig physically forward and helping the actor move and everything. The director of both Shazam movies, David F. Sandberg, is a big time VFX guy, and he wanted to understand the process for his actors in the first movie, so he got rigged onto one of these tuning forks to see what the experience was like. That's dedication, you guys. According to Sandberg, it's way harder than it looks, and it also takes a ton of upper body strength.